All right, hello, hello, everybody. Let's get into this. Boy, we got the pasta in the hot seat today. So as the article reads, it says the FBI arrested Bishop Whitehead for defrauding his church members out of their retirement money and extorting and threatening them. I have this long ass dissertation if you want to read it, but I got a little news clip. So if you want, stick around for that. Church service has been indicted on federal charges. Among the allegations against Lamore Whitehead that he scammed a parishioner out of $90,000. And to CBS 2's Christina Fan reports, this isn't his first time in trouble with the law. A normally flashy Bishop Lamore Whitehead was silent outside federal court as his attorney denied all fraud allegations against him. The Brooklyn pastor, known for delivering sermons in designer suits and lavish jewels at Leaders of Tomorrow International Ministries, is being accused by federal prosecutors of obtaining part of his wealth illegally. Bishop Lamore Whitehead is not guilty of these charges. We are vigorously going to defend these accusations. According to an unsealed indictment, Whitehead asked for money and other things of value from victims using threats and false promises. He allegedly convinced a parishioner to invest $90,000 of her retirement savings with him, but spent it all on himself. He is also accused of extorting a businessman of $5,000, then convincing the victim to lend him half a million more and give him a stake in real estate transactions in return for favors from the city government, which Whitehead knew he could not obtain. The bishop was arrested Monday morning and pleaded not guilty in court before he was released on a a half a million dollar bond. Whitehead has made Yo. news repeatedly this year. First in July, when masked robbers stole an estimated one million dollars worth of jewelry from him during a live stream service. You want to come preach? You want to come preach? Come on up here. Then in September, he was briefly detained after clashing with a woman who interrupted him mid -service. We feel that he is being targeted and he is being turned from a victim into a villain. The bishop has a criminal history and was convicted on 17 counts of fraud back in 2008. The 45-year-old is now charged with two counts of wire fraud, one count of extortion, and one count of making material false statements. In Lower Manhattan, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. If convicted on all counts, Whitehead faces up to 65 years in prison. Boy, 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 did y'all just hear that? 65 years. But what I have to say to that is God don't like ugly. God does not like people that lead his children down the wrong path. You stole that money from those people. See, this is why, I'm going to be honest with y'all, this is why I don't like churches. Because I feel like it's a scam. Like, I can praise the Lord by myself with a Bible in my hand and stuff like that. Because there's way too many false prophets out here. He's over here spreading the word and shit. <laughs> And to be honest, allegedly, I think he robbed his own goddamn self, okay? But that's just me. And for you to take that woman, for you to be taking advantage of those elderly people and taking their money is so fucked up. And I'm happy that if you actually did do this, your ass got caught. And threatening somebody's elderly mother, grandma, or grandpa is beyond me. Like, I just knew it was something wrong with him. Okay, so the way I got introduced to him is on Conscious CTV's channel. Shout out to CTV, okay? And I'm reckless. I love y'all. But um, that's how I got introduced to him. And something always didn't seem right. And it's like, if you're pulling up to church, why are you pulling up the church of the Maybach? You can take that money from the Maybach and invest in your church. Invest in your people. Invest in giving, giving away. Invest. It's feeding the homeless. You're selfish. It, that's what I that's what I picked up as watching him. It just seemed like he was such a selfish person. And he had a vendetta, okay, towards Larry, which Larry made a joke about the robbery. Bitch, you I, I think you did rob yourself, allegedly. I think you did. It is hilarious, okay? Why are you pulling up in the bay back with 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 the goddamn Rolex on your damn arm into the hood? Like who does that? I, I just wanna know who does that. Why are you pulling up to the hood? with these things like obviously you was actually get robbed and just say if you ain't robbed yourself you should have robbed your um church goers and w threatening them like really you're threatening old people that's what we do now but yeah y'all i had to go off on his selfish ass for a minute and anyways comment down below like and subscribe let me know how you guys feel about this situation bye